pleased with the, with the pitching today because after giving up 10 hits yesterday, you guys combined in the two games only gave up eight. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Um, I mean, you know, I, I thought the other day was fine. It was just it's baseball sometimes, you know. Like I said on Friday, it's just we didn't get the hits when we needed to get them. Um, but pitching, I mean, I you know, the, the case is going to be a lot of times where our pitching is going to match the other team's pitching. And uh, um, you know, today in the doubleheader, I thought we matched and, and beat uh, on the mound. Uh, and the other thing that goes with that is being the home team. Always being the home team, you got those last three outs where you're on offense. So uh, I kept reminding our dugout when they we were kind of up and then down and up and down with the emotion and then the lead and stuff. And I just kept reminding them, just keep playing. We're home team, and that that makes all the difference in the world. Bottom line, you lost the first one to win the series. You had to sweep today. Yes, you came back and did that. Yeah, and it's really hard at the division one level, division one level, to win double headers. It's just just so much emotion and. And it's a long day and the grind of it. And so to be able to to uh, execute and again, the, uh, having enough guys on the mound give you that chance all the time. The situational stuff today had to be good to see. Not that, yeah. not that I mean, first game. It's it's obviously yeah. such a, a small sample size, but still, yeah. definitely strides today. Definitely some things, and I think none speaks bigger than you know Eli's. Uh, Kind of but, reminds you of last year, right? Right. Kind of reminds you of last year. So resources. Um, yeah, I mean, when you're at home and you're and uh, you're in a tight game and you're in the, I, I look at the bottom of the eighth and the bottom of the ninth and the tenth, basically the ninth inning. So that's kind of how I look at those when you're at home. So I I, I can use the eighth, ninth, and tenth inning for like it like it's the bottom of the ninth sort of thing. So obviously the eighth, you still got to go out and get three outs, but you can be more aggressive doing some stuff like I did. Um, um, what all did I do? Safety squeeze, steal and stop, um, early break from first base, try to get it, you know, got in the run down, got another run, just doing all that stuff. Eli didn't telegraph that safety squeeze. That no. Take us through that process from your perspective. Yeah, there, the infield was playing in. Um, he, his off speed, he was, he was laying in for strikes. Um, and he was doing it quite often. So and that's he was laying in, lay, laying in, meaning like they weren't sharp, hard, down, out of the zone. They, they were going to be in the zone, in the strike zone. And uh, so that's what he got uh, for the pitch. And uh, he's one of our, uh, you know, he's one of our better bunner situational guys. Um, so whether it's hit and run or squeeze or whatever. So, and it's a safety squeeze, meaning the runner at third doesn't have to go. If it's a bad bunt, he's gonna have momentum going forward. He sees the bunt to the first base side and he can keep going. And that's what Browning did. And for some reason they they went home and had no play and right. we got another guy on so we could just keep doing stuff. Now going and then that other player too, Mark. Call it a delayed steal, call it what you want. Early break. Early break. Yep, yep, okay. yep. So the pitcher still has it in his hands. And so we just leave early. We want the pitcher to, to, to start it and throwing it to the middle infield. And, and you ran it some last year. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now starting the season off going 2-1 and one, and this being a whole like new group of guys, yep. what's the most exciting part about this season? Uh, really so far for me, honestly, is driving to work every day and getting to be around them. Uh, I tell them that a lot, even when some days we leave practice and they're like, wow, Coach Reardon was all over us. But I, I tell them all the time, man, I, I love it when I when I leave here at night and uh, when I get to come back the next day. So um, a lot of people have heard it. I've, I've kind of been quoted as, as saying it. I was just talking about it in the, up in the, on the radio. It's just, you know, we, our kids have a campfire culture. Like they got along right away. Like I mean, the, the the closeness throughout the entire fall, even up to this point, they they are a tight group, and that's what you want. But I don't need them just to kind of sit around a campfire and sing kumbaya, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I want like we want a championship culture, which means they hold each other accountable mm -hmm. without worrying about losing the friendship. There's one thing about having friendship, and you don't want to make somebody mad, but then there's something about holding each other accountable. You know, pushing each other positively. So that's what we're getting to. You don't you know. have a campfire. Are you building towards the championship? Well, we have a campfire, but right. right now, you know, but yeah, we're going towards championship. Yeah, we'll, last we'll get there. Being your first season and having the season you did and having yep. one of the most successful seasons that WK baseball has had in a long time, I bet that's a good feeling coming in this season. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, 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 
know, it's pressure too, you know. I mean, you come in first year and you, you do what you do. Um, and we come back and people really think right away that we're not even going to be better. And that's not necessarily how it works, especially in baseball. Um, but I, I think the program is going to continue to be better. You know, you obviously the outside, the fans, the media, you can see the facilities and, and, and where we're going with that and, and all the, the, the improvements already and what's soon to be happening even more for baseball. But currently on the field, you, I, I just want people to see this stuff, excitement in the dugout, you know, competitiveness, execution. I think that stuff's fun. I think it's fun for you guys to film. I think it's fun for people to sit up in the stands and watch. Our kids like to play that wide way. It gets exciting doing that stuff. You know, I mean, you just can't hit balls out of the yard all the time. There wasn't this this weekend. Just no, was home run. No, and it wasn't really even close. A Cavill hit two off the wall. One in left center on Friday, and one in right center that both would have been gone. But just the weather didn't allow for that. So you have to be able to do other stuff. And I did, I think that that's part of my job is. Yeah, they need to be able to hit balls out of the yard, but they need to be able to safety squeeze too, you know, and everything in between. Yeah, it seemed, like Cavill, was fantastic. Yeah, it seemed like Cavill was fantastic yeah. today. I mean, he was responsible for, you know, a big a big spark, especially in that in the bottom of that six, I do believe. Absolutely. Those two runs. Yeah. I mean, what did you like from him? Because it's pretty cool that, that, that this team hadn't had any international players since, since I've been here. Oh, really? Now you got four. Now in the battery, two from Australia, one from Guam, and one from the Virgin Islands. And right. It's pretty. It's pretty cool to see. But what you well, like from uh, from Gallagher? Well, in that situation, I, I I mean, I honestly would have took a ground ball for at second base, score a guy, move a guy, you know, with guys at second and third. But um, they've been getting. Hit, they've been trying to throw fastballs late in on him, late in the count, and he, you know, we we talked about it, and he knew it, and he didn't Where'd let it. Him from? He didn't yeah. let another one get by, Australia. Uh, he's from uh, Northwest Florida Junior College. Okay, that's a cool area. Nope, it's up in the. Destin. Uh, it's up in the uh, Panhandle. That's, Can't think of. Yeah, it's, it's cool. What kind of ask you on the same thing? And I know it's the first weekend, but still, what do you think you kind of learned from this team this first weekend? Well, I think I mean uh, when you look at the competition, I mean good hitters. You know, they had good approaches. They were dangerous, so that was good for our pitching to see because you know we think our pitching is one of our strengths and our depth. Uh, is is going to give us a chance. So um, going against their their hitters, uh, I thought that, that was good for us. Um, they overall they played good defense. Their second baseman today in that second game missed the ball and gave us an unearned run, but um, they played some pretty good defense as well. But for my team, um, I, like I said, I, I I thought in the last game, the the second game today, a little bit too much hoping and wishing on some stuff instead of going out and doing it. I thought we had some ABs and had some innings where we were hoping and wishing for something to happen when you need to be positive and, and just be aggressive and, and go do it instead of just sitting around waiting. Burns was overpowering at first and then... Well, we, we and, and we tried to stretch him out and that's just not him right now. It's February. So, you know, a lot of that's my fault. Um, and yeah, I'm not looking necessarily and, looking for a fault, but yeah, it just, it was noticeable you know, sure you know. absolutely he did what he was supposed to do and he right. got us out of yeah. an inning right. you know and quickly uh, yeah yeah and that's and he'll be fine doing that i just tried to stretch him out and, you know i got more guys you know you saw mo come in and he does what he does there and it's not 95 it's 88 91 but he, d he definitely has some spin and he was getting swing and miss and that's what he how does how many pitches does mo throw for strikes Three. Oh, he throws at least two. He's got a little, yeah, a little slider and a fastball. But the thing what everybody's swinging at is his breaking ball that has a high spin. That that's what they were all swinging at is getting swings and misses on. Thanks, guys. Thanks, awesome. Thank you, guys.